Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. I am just doing the daily devotional this morning and sharing what God has been teaching me throughout this past year. And I pray that uh, you guys are taught through um, His Word and this time together. And um, we'll get right to it. So Jesus has been teaching me two lessons that I think can apply to everyone. He's been teaching me to see the world through an eternal lens, not just a temporary. And then to not just see the world in an eternal lens, but act and choose to make eternal decisions and impact um, while I'm here on earth. Um, the Bible has been teaching me this through John chapter 6. Um, for context, I'm talking about verses 24 through 27. And this is uh, right after Jesus fed the 5,000. Uh, so I'm just going to read a few verses. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, why did you go here? Jesus answered, Truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Don't work for the food that perishes, but for the food that lasts for eternal life. So he's just plainly telling them, you did all this work to come here for food, and that's great, and there's nothing really wrong with that, but you should do work for eternal purposes. I'm here, I am the bread of life. If you eat from me, you'll never be hungry again. That is what he's trying to tell them. He's saying, yes, food is good, but... Eternity is better. Um, and he's just trying to teach them that. He's trying to teach me that. Through this situation, these people were just looking for something to eat. Again, it's not bad. But he's asking them to open their eyes and to see the eternal consequences of the situation. And just asking them to go towards that, those things, eternal things, and work towards those and decide to live a life that um, makes an eternal impact. So uh, a clear situation to me in my life that I've seen this, uh, where I've had an eternal choice and a temporary choice, I may not saw it at that time, but um, whenever I try to um, share uh, my faith or encourage a non-believer to um, learn about the faith or come to church with me, um, I get very nervous or I get scared and it's just so um, temporary for me to think that. Like, I'm just thinking right now. I'm not thinking eternally. I, the Holy Spirit is nudging me to think eternally because in the situation, it is eternally beneficial for me to tell him um, about Jesus and who he is and what he's done for him. But in the moment, I'm thinking temporarily most of the time. I have to choose to think eternally in those situations. I have to choose to listen to the Holy Spirit and just trust that um, He will guide me through that conversation. And so going back to it, what the Lord has taught me is that I need to see, or we all need to see life in an eternal lens. And we need to make decisions that make an eternal impact. I'm not, um, I'm preaching to myself here. <laughs> Um, preaching um, so I can listen and I can learn and I can do these things and I can always make or choose the choice to make an eternal impact uh, rather than a comfortable temporary impact and not just choose them but be intentional about it like go out throughout my day looking to make an eternal impact so today I challenge you all to do something uh, to make an eternal impact, share the Lord with somebody, do whatever you are called to do. Um, maybe it's just make a friendship to, you know, uh, share your faith with someone later. I'm not sure, but um, today, let's have an eternal impact. Thank you.